<laughs> Alright guys, what is up? I'm going to be trying to give you guys a strategy here that helps to get uh, agency in top lane. And it does not revolve around a level 1 proxy, but it is still pretty good. So what we're going to do is we are just going to be scouting to see if the enemy jungler is starting top side level 1. Uh, in this case they are. It appears that Panthan will be leashing, so uh, leashing for the Elise. So my theory going into this game is basically... Well, I want to be as much of a donkey as possible. I want to be as as aggressive as possible. I've gotten a lot of comments lately. I've a lot of people asking on Twitch. Uh, Minish Cap top lane, top lane does not feel great. What do I do uh, in order to have game impact? Well, I'm going to show you. Uh, I guess technically it does involve proxying, but... What we're going to do is we're just going to be super aggressive here for waves 1 and 2 and just push. And then if the enemy top laner is leashing like that, then we can go ahead and start a proxy up. And I have Ignite Conquer. I'm going to look for Elise here and I'm just going to fight. I'm just going to go. I'm going to see what happens. The Pantheon's still level 1 here. Bear in mind so we can be really, really aggro here. Let's fight the Elise. Chase her down. Ignite's up. Conqueror's up. And she goes down. I'm level 3, level 1 Pantheon. Fight him as well now. And just like that, double kill versus <laughs> the enemy top and the enemy jungler just by cheesing. That is uh, that is a strat that I have been wanting to try for a very long time. And uh, glad to see that it worked out. So I'm not even going to buy a potion here. I'm just going to go ahead and go straight into Blasting Wand and be super greedy. Again, I am level 3 to Pantheon's level 1. So that's the reason why I took uh, I took a Ignite and Conqueror. That is that is basically I don't even know if it's a cheese because certain champions like like Riven actually do this strategy a lot um, where they'll just hyper aggro push wave one and two and then look for an invade and just try and quin flip the game with a with a kill like that using a small level lead and a high kill pressure from having the uh, ignite summoner spell so something to something to think about guys if you want to implement that in your uh, in your games it does not work every time but when it does work it is quite good because you can get a lot of value out of it and again honestly even if you don't get like a huge amount of value out of it you can still get um decent value i can maybe fling this guy again actually oh, i'm not fast enough for it it is reliant on conquer though you really really want that early game uh early game ap to help you out without conquer you're probably not gonna have enough damage However, that being said, um, if you would like to run this with like cheap shot secondary, so you can have a a uh, cosmic drive later on for movement speed, you totally can do that. If they do end up fixing the cosmic drive bug, they uh, wouldn't even need to do that. You could just have it. So now my Dana has also invaded the Elise. Let's see, Elise is running bottom. She has no she has no flash. I can actually just take the next wave as well because. Uh, I know where she is now. I know where Diana is. Yasuo is in mid. Their bot lane's in bot lane, so nothing's really stopping me from just taking this. Diana is just straight up thieving that camp. Love to see it. Pantheon probably gonna run down towards me, so I'm gonna go ahead and just recall. Not before I drop a ward for the uh, for the Elise recall, though. But yeah, lots of comments lately asking Minish Cap, how do I have uh, in game impact in top lane? Well. I mean, that's definitely one way, just being super aggressive, being being donkey mode. Um, it does rely on you having some degree of mechanical superiority um, over the enemy enemy jungler, because uh, it also depends on the jungle matchup. Certain junglers, even if you are level 2 and they're level 2 and you have ignite and they don't, and you're full health and they're half health, certain junglers will just... Okay, I see Elise there. Certain junglers will just dumpster singe, you gotta be really careful about that. Like, uh, Lee Sin early game, absolutely dunk singed. Uh, Kha'Zix early game, super hard for singe as well. Looks like Elise is running over here. Either that or she might even come top lane. I gotta be careful. I'm not locking up yet. Because she knows I'm flashless. Uh, so there is there is quite a decent chance that she just, okay, she's mid now. So I look for Pantheon here. Okay, there's this W. Ignite should kill him there. God, I'd love to see it. Super close on the HP bar, but we got him. Now we just take plates. The downside, obviously, of this is uh, if you take Ignite and then your fights don't work out, then you are stuck without a teleport. But that being said, um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and recall here, actually. You wanna recall under their tower for maximum tilt. I know he has no TP. Uh, if, if you try and get kills and it doesn't work out, then you are suddenly a laner that does not have um, teleport, but that can be quite good or bad. I'm actually gonna go Roa this game. Actually, uh, quite feeling my, my Roa here. Very good against their team. It's like he's going Merc Treads as well. So my ability to uh, solo kill him will be diminished a good amount by that, but it's not going to be impossible. This is also a good way to um, punish junglers who are just like sticking to the uh, bot side meta. That's part of the reason why there's so much frustration on top lane right now is just the game is just very, very much even still, even if they tried to quote unquote fix it. Just very much a bot side meta, um, where you can be, you can draft like, uh, you can draft in champ select and then be stuck versus some awful matchup, like like a ranged top laner who's perma shoving. And in the past, that didn't used to be like that big of an issue. But the problem is these days, um, you can set up a gank for your jungler, but the jungler won't show because they just want to go for bot lane. So even if you have like the perfect gank opportunity set up, like the wave is frozen, like the only thing you're lacking is like solo kill pressure, um, because again they're a ranged top laner, the your jungler might just not help you, and then you're still stuck there, and it can be really frustrating. So another option, obviously, that Singed has that many champions don't have is to proxy like this, um, and just be a bit of a, a bit of a goon. Love it. Oh, walking with that key. I'm gonna go ahead and back off. I don't have ignite, and he he definitely does. That's the only reason why he's being that aggro. Uh, also, Elise is probably near me. Also, Thresh is here, so good time to back. My Quinn support is random fighting, so I'm just gonna let her do that. I have an eight <laughs> eight minute rod of ages. Jeez, dude. Looks like my Quinn randomly died. This guy is uh, very interesting. He before I hit record, he he ran in. Uh, level one and died, but at least he's maybe possibly trying to win. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see. Uh, I don't want them to go for this herald. I have a feeling that they're going for it. Cause I'm gonna walk over and just just check it. I'm really strong right now, so I, I think I do have the ability to check it if they're doing it. Okay, they're not doing it. Very very good. Can I get the uh, the cannon? No, oh, I missed the cannon to check for uh, Herald, but it's worth it. It's fine. Totally a okay. Okay, that plate is not low, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk around and look for proxy. Look to find Elise. Look to see if I can kill her. Run by the Herald one more time. I don't think there's anyone in there. I didn't get perfect vision of it though. He does not have mana potions, and I have a huge, huge, huge mana regen advantage over him. With having Roa and everything. Plus, if we ever get into a fight, there's a good chance I can just at least kill one person, even if I'm ganked 1v2. can also look for a base proxy if I want. I am almost 9 CS per minute while getting kills here, which is uh, definitely no joke. I'm 20 CS up on the Pantheon. So killing him twice will do that. Okay, Pantheon's looking for me. He walked in the jungle, that's how I know. Elise is bottom, so he's definitely not doing Herald. Unless he's trying to solo it. <laughs> yeah, I, he might even be going to drag. I think, that, I think that is what it is. They got a mountain, whatever, it's fine. I'll just push for Herald, or push for plates here. He probably ults back to lane. Or he walks up and snipes Quinn. I don't know, either or. Definitely can happen here. But again, that's fine. So Pantheon did ult down there, okay, that's what they're saying. My man has a different uh, perspective of game impact, but as you can see, this is what top laners have been reduced to. Try and have any sort of uh, say over the outcome of the game. It is what it is. I'm gonna just ignore him here and go for the play. He doesn't really have enough damage to truly hurt me. So I am up a ton of gold on him right now with all of the uh, the tower platings and CS lead and kills and he has one assist so yeah we are super far ahead. Hello. Oh 
Master Conqueror is stacked. Quite a bit. Triumph is up. And we kill. Very nice. Pan Pan's ult is down, so I'm go back and keep pushing. Very important that you open up immediately on whoever is focusing you. It's not like... Conqueror is not like other Singe builds where you can like afford to just kite and your focus is like kiting and um, being annoying. You have to like brawl. So if, if I would have done what my instincts told me there, my instincts told me to just kite the Yasuo and then go up and fling Elise and poison Elise, we would have probably lost that fight. Um, you have to just brawl the person in front of you and look for triumph resets and look for kills and assists and stuff like that. You are less of a team player with Conqueror. You are you are a you are a. I won't say duelist because Singe is dog shit at dueling, but you're definitely playing more of a fighter play style. I have three thousand gold here. Uh, I'll just go straight demonic. I think. Roa and demonic by twelve minutes. Holy shit. Top tower first blood. Very very nice. I can also just grab boots. I mean, these two both have Kraken Slayer. I could just go ahead and grab boots. Probably grab Tabby this game, uh, considering Ash Yasuo. Um, oh, she's dead. <laughs> considering Ash Yasuo Pantheon, uh, Swifty is quite good here as well. I don't know why Diana walked up. I think she's out. Maybe nope. they flashed on her. I hate to see it. Okay, well, I'll walk towards bottom in case they dive her, which they... good chance that they might. I have ult in four. I'm trying to see what they do. Oh, here it comes. Top lane game impact. Here it is, boys. <laughs> and he doesn't even press the, uh, the plant. These guys might monkey dive mid. We'll see what they do. But learning to predict tower dives is also very important. That's part of your uh, your macro that you have to have as top laner. Because, again, game impact. I could tell that because my threat, that my, uh, what's it, uh, Elise and Quinn died, or, I forget, I, I think, uh, not Elise, sorry, Diana and Quinn died. That, hey, they there's a good chance that they might just dive my Sivir because they think she's alone. So, what if I just wait where I know they don't have vision and then look for the counter dive? Works out. Uh, I probably can't kill this guy here, but I can definitely farm for my um, Demonic Embrace. Which is good. Let's see. DE, DE. Have it in 20 gold. I'm going to head back for it before, uh, before drag spawns. Then I'm I'm not gonna even try and defend top lane here. The Pantheon's not pressuring too hard, and even if even if he was pressuring, I wouldn't care about it because Dragon's up in a minute, and I just want to be by Dragon, so I can help my team by dragging my Singe nuts across their face. <laughs> Terrible joke. Let's keep going. There's Silas over here. So now we're just waiting, just waiting on drag. I am super down to 5v5 fight here. I have a Demonic and I have a Roa, so I'm like, I'm, I'm freakishly strong right now uh, in comparison to the enemy team. I don't want to like show, but my bot lane's being a little bit greedy, so I'm just trying to like put my, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to put myself in the position where I can react to any situation that happens relatively okay. There's probably a ward in this bush, so that's why I'm standing here. I'll go and help them with the, with the Herald actually. I still have Ignite. Unfortunately, I'm level 1 ult. I ignite the Elise to make sure she dies here. Ash is flung. I think I just kill her. We'll see. I'm not entirely sure. Nope. I'm all by myself here. I got flash killed by Sivir. Oh, I'm alive. Oh my god. Triumph, baby. Yeah, unfortunately, my Quinn is like super, super trolling, so it's kind of hard to play, but here we go. More Triumph procs. We can stay. We can stay, boys. We can stay. Look for drag. Make sure you ping the drag so your teammates understand that, hey, I'm trying to win the game. <laughs> See, my elite, my, my Sivir got the idea. She really wanted to, to be a typical solo queue player and just monkey chase for kills. That is not how you win. You really, really want to go for objectives. It's so important. Dragon is so powerful. Another reason why bot lane meta. But there we go. 
even if I had died there, it probably would have been okay because I took two people with me, so I can, uh, at the end of the day, if it goes super south, I'm just like, hey, my team, now you guys can win for me because I killed two people. And one of them was the jungler, so that is the dragon. Yasuo just dashes through here, maybe? Nope. Okay, cool. Again, I'm looking at top lane. The reason why I'm not going top lane is because nothing's really happening in top lane. I could flash bling her, but it's not worth it. I'm trying to hold for a more important target. Elise, or, uh... Not Elise. My Dana goes in, so we focus. Fling her away from my Sivir. Oh, she kills her. Unfortunate, dude. Dominating. Almost saved her, at least. Okay, uh, we're gonna go for Herald here. Herald's up in 10. Make sure you ping your junglers. Always, always, always look at your objective timers because your junglers are probably not going to. They are focused on getting kills and highlights, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm not trying to be salty. I'm just speaking like from the perspective of a top laner, right? Like this is this is this is how you have to be as a top laner if you want to climb. You you have to be like this guy who is like hurting your team because your your ability to like individually impact is not as high as other roles right now so like you have to be like hey let's we do this now we do this now we what we don't do is go dual yasuo and and potentially throw the herald if your top laner isn't seven zero and five like that's not what we do but this is exactly why i'm saying like you have to be this way you know if you want to climb you have to like be obnoxious and you have to be loud and you have to make the right decisions as well because look the thrash is coming here toward the they would have gotten this if i hadn't taken it But now we have it, and they don't, so that's good. Uh, I'm not going to respond to Pantheon. That's going to be someone else right now, because I am pushing top lane. Just trying to be as much of a menace as possible. I can actually go back and sell my... Um, I'm going to ping Salus back, because they have people showing up. I can actually sell my potion if I want here. Here's Yasuo. I probably can't fight the Yasuo. He's a little strong, and he's just really fast. Uh, I'm level 13, though, so I can do some, some, silly, some silly stuff. Looks like they're fighting Pantheon here. I can look for potentially um, mid lane tier 2. I just want to be annoying and aggro, but I don't want to give up kills for free. So I'm hovering where I think the enemy will show up, because I'm not strong enough to just man fight for that tier 2 yet. I guess I can with Herald. Okay, they did show up mid, so I was right. I should have followed my instinct, but that's okay. My bad. I know that Yasuo is not here now, though, so I'm just going to go ahead and drop Herald. Pantheon's also not here because he's dead. If Pantheon wants to come, he has to ult, so... We Herald, and we take Tier 2. I could have also went, uh, went mid, but that's okay. Sometimes you don't make the perfect decisions. You just need to make the optimal ones in the situation that you're in. He wants to stop the Herald, so I'm just going to go ahead and fight him. Oh, I messed up. I had it wrong. I think it's okay, though. I just kill him. I'm so strong. There's a, there's Ash Arrow. So we have that as well. Go for this blue buff. I'm going to go ahead and leash the, uh, the Grump over here for her as well. I don't want to take this. I want her to have it. Because she's going to end up dying for it if I don't give it to her. <laughs> so we just give it. I'm going to go ahead and take this blue buff. I forgot that they did that. Very nice, and now we leave. I'm gonna ping her back because there is some incoming. Really don't want to be a part of that. Yeah, that was super dumb of her to go for that as well. We just cleared a ward, and they knew that we were there, so they're gonna try and force her uh, Baron off that. We gotta be careful. And if they don't, then I don't think they're actually. They're stupid. Uh, we'll go for we'll go for uh, Dragon. The reason why I know, by the way, that they're coming is because the whole map went dark. And then, um, what should I buy here? I go Aether Wrist, I don't even, the uh, Cosmic's not even going to work with this setup, I'm just going to buy it, because I just want it. Uh, the reason I knew they were coming, by the way, is the whole map went dark after we cleared Ward, and so we have to just assume that we're the only people that they have vision of, most likely. They're going to show up here. We should just not be there, but that's okay. Be aware here that they are clearing vision around Baron, and we don't want to, uh... We don't want to give too much up. Oh. Okay. We just force Dragon. We just force Drag. We just force Drag. We don't need to fight or do anything really dumb. We can just literally force the fight. This Yasuo is running here for some reason. What are you doing? 
abuse their mistakes. I'm getting caught out. That's okay. I have flash if I need it. I run an, uh, use an ignite. Elise dies. Threshold. He dies. Just go drag. Just go drag. Just go drag. We have drag here. Again, I'm super tanky because I have so much HP. Remember, your team is going to make mistakes, but their team is going to make them too. So, that Yasuo running there thought he could probably just kill me, or I don't know what he was thinking, but see him, go for him. Now we can do Dra or Baron as well because we have a 10 second death timer on Elise. You have to be pinging it because if you know if you don't ping it and tell them, then your jungler is gonna be like, oh my god, the enemy, the enemy Gromp is up. I gotta kill the frog. Gromp is up, boys. And then you're not gonna get your Baron because the enemy jungler will just go for Gromp because they watched 37 videos of junglers being like, this is how you win jungle. That's not how you win jungle. Uh, by farm diffing the enemy jungler. That's how you win early game as jungle. How you win the game as jungle is objective control. So, yeah. When when junglers teach, and I, and honestly I'm saying this as a top laner, when junglers teach that you need to you need to counter jungle and, and farm diff the enemy jungler to have game to have like to have the win, it's not entirely true because they're speaking from a very, very like early game centric position because to them inherently what they're going to do is transition into an objective lead lower elo junglers don't know how to do that they're not going to guarantee to transition into an objective lead they don't understand like they're thinking oh if i farm the enemy gromp at 45 minutes in the game while the enemy team is doing baron then i'm the better jungler and my team is inting no the enemy jungler is a better jungler because they're getting objectives for their team that's that's just how it goes uh this guy just dc'd i don't think it really matters because i'm pretty sure i'm strong enough to 4v5 this game so we will uh, figure it out. I can also just hard push top lane if I want to here. I'm going to be really careful walking through Fog of War here. So we don't want to get caught by anyone and die. But we should probably uh, push mid as a team. I can also push side lane here as Singed if I want to. But uh, I want to push mid because I don't have Ignite. <laughs> I don't even care that Zalus isn't here. I just want to keep pushing and, and maintain pressure. It's fine. We should push regardless of whether or not he's here. There's Thresh right there. He is back. That's good. Oh, bad fling. That's okay. He flashed anyways. Ulting here. Let's see what happens. Okay, my Quinn's gonna get caught no matter what because that is just what she's been doing. I have to play with that uh, perspective in mind. I can go for the uh, Ash Fling if I want it here. Got it. She's dead, very nice. Set the W up, go for the fling. He wanted me, he doesn't get me. Look for the fling on Yasuo, Yasuo is dead. Poison should kill her. Nice. Now I keep pushing, there's three dead. Uh, I have Pantheon ults, he's weak as fuck, so I'm not super worried about him. He's looking for me with Q. Okay, we're not strong enough to keep going, so we go ahead and leave. All good, no worries. Actually, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna sell the Aether Risk and get Zanya's here. Zanya's is super good for me. I was wondering like what, what to buy here because I haven't built Zanya's in a while, but Zanya's is definitely the uh, the right answer here. <laughs> Without a way to proc Cosmic because it's bugged, I totally would go Cosmic here if I wasn't bugged. But I don't have Cheap Shot, I don't have Summon Airy, and I don't have Rift Maker, and I don't have Shadow Flame, so I have no way to proc it because it is bugged. Unfortunately, you need one of those items to use the to use your item that should just work, but it doesn't. So. Is what it is. Right games thinks they're. Uh... We're just we're just league is just PBE. It's just PBE for Wild Drift at this point. And all of the all of the good fun stuff goes to Wild Drift, and then we get whatever all of this is. <laughs> if it sounds salty, it's because I am. About that. Uh, be careful here. There's a Thresh walking up. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the blue ward for my uh, for my Quinn because she's just. I don't know what she's doing, honestly. I think he thinks he's Bows FFS. He's taking farm from my Sivir, which is whatever. I mean, he's definitely, definitely this guy's trolling, but you can't stop people from doing this type of shit. Oh, hello, Yasuo. You are really slow, and I have caught you, and you will probably die unless you just kill my Quinn, which is very possible. But he's dead now, and I've turned poison off. I turned it back on. Make sure the Thresh dies here. I'm gonna go back through and help my uh, help my team. 
I have Rylize here, so they are just not getting away. I'm so much stronger. Like, I'm level 16 singed. The Ash walked up and killed my Quinn. That's okay. If I hit W, I can probably catch her with uh, Nimbus Cloak. Still have Zanyas here as well. I have Sivir movement speed. Zalas pushing mid. I'm pushing top. Okay, without Zivralt, I probably can't, uh, I probably can't go for the, uh, Nexus. Don't listen to people when they ping Nexus like that, by the way. This guy's an idiot. He, th this Diana thinks that we can go for Nexus downers there, but if you look at spawn timers, the spawn timers were, like, five seconds on the entire enemy team. What's gonna happen if I go for the Nexus? I get up and, I walk up and get two auto attacks and they respawn and kill us, like... No, don't listen to people. That is a huge, like, inexperienced player problem, is they have they have a tendency to over over push for the Nexus. I don't know if it's because they're like they're stressed about being in the game, or like what it what it is that causes them to like think that you can just dive the Nexus and, and get away with it. That's that's not that's not how it works. So to contend with death timers, home guards, they have mana and health. You don't have mana and health. Like it's just you just shouldn't do that. I've seen people lose so many games because they over push for the Nexus and then throw an enemy team gets bounties and you just shouldn't do that. I'm gonna go Death Cap last item or Void Staff. We'll see depending on the enemy team. And what they uh, what they choose to buy. Not a ton of MR yet, so Death Cap is probably fine, but Void Staff is also probably fine, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I can also just shove bottom here. I don't really need to mess around with Baron because I can just be a complete menace. I have Zonia's and Ignite. Plus, they're fighting topside, and Silas is with me, so. Okay, we have Yasuo and, uh, Yasuo and Ash here. Looks like my team is doing pretty well in that fight upstairs. Upstairs, topside, up topside. Running back over. Go ahead and pop R so I can get nearby. Silas, Ash ult. Fling him. There's Yasuo ult. Running up on the Ash, Ignite. And you are dead. We'll kill Pantheon until you're grounded. I'm just actually running over your entire team. You actually can't do anything. 11 0 16. 7 CS per minute at the end. 9 CS per minute for a large portion of the game. I can actually just farm these minions and get some CS buff, not CS number buffs. The saver doesn't take them all. I got a little bit. 7.3. Nice, you do. And that's how you do it. That's, that, that's, how, you, that's how you have a disproportionate amount of game impact so it does rely on a few things uh if your early game cheese does not work out you are kind of screwed because then you don't have mobility there is ways to uh there is map mobility or in fight mobility because i guess what i didn't have a ghost either so there are ways to mitigate this you can try and go for um cheap shot cosmic drive you will lose your celerity but you will gain a cosmic drive eventually and that can help with your mobility quite a bit um you can go for uh what is it rockefeller i got full honors that game oh whoops i accidentally closed it uh, you can go for rockefeller you can do quite a few things um to mitigate it but generally this is this is how i like to play it where i just take normal items and runes and just look for early game aggression um if you think about it like even if it doesn't work out you're kind of like sometimes it doesn't even matter if it doesn't work out excuse me Sometimes it doesn't even matter if it doesn't work out because your bot lane will just end up coin flipping bot side anyways. So if they win, then you win, and if they lose, then you lose. Like it just <laughs> obviously being eleven zero sixteen this game, I definitely had a lot of individual impact over the outcome of the game. But I'm saying like if it doesn't work out, then half the time you can just rely on your bot lane to carry you anyways, and maybe lose the game for you anyways, right? Like say you're and you end up going like zero one zero, and your early game cheese doesn't work out that's in that situation yeah but if it does work out and you do get you, you, you do get kills in the jungle and you do kill the enemy jungler and you do kill the enemy top laner and you do hop off like there you go you know like it's it's that is how you do it so uh damage wise as the highest damage of the game 23.4k rune value uh conqueror shows healing instead of damage for some reason so don't worry about that triumph 3270 540 gold off of triumph so even though i sold an item and and purchased it uh still super super wealthy in the game i had the most gold i had the second highest cs in the game or oh wait no fourth highest jesus christ that ash was farming super hard that guy that guy probably thinks ed carry is weak after that game my top laner feeds every game no they don't 
<laughs> no, they don't. You just remember the ones that I do. <laughs> but that being said, guys, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next one. Much love, guys. Peace.